Howdy everyone, welcome to Spaghetti Tumbleweed. Today I have a Mega Constructs Crystal Creatures blind bag type egg to unbox for you guys. Now this has slime inside and a buildable critter. These are gorgeous. I have seen other people post pictures of the ones that they received and they are awesome. I am so thrilled to finally find these locally. I want this one. This one is perfect and gorgeous. I love it so much, but they're all really unique, sort of uh, mythical type creatures from what I can tell. Uh, this is series one, so let's go ahead and dive in. We'll see what it's like. I'm not sure 100% what to expect. I feel like I probably should have brought uh, a type of uh, something to catch the slime. I might ruin my background. <laughs> That's okay. Um, oh, there we go. Really cool container. And it looks like it has um, pegs on the top and the bottom for um, once you assemble your critter, you can probably display it that way, which is really cool. It's kind of like Legos. Oh, goodness. It's just um, a big baggie full of goop and pieces. <laughs> I guess we can kind of tell who I got already, just because the legs, looks like legs are yellow. And I think we've got some red wings in here. Hmm. <laughs> we have a checklist right here, slash instructional guide. Cool, ruby wing. Awesome, looks like kind of a dragon pegasus mix. That's really cool. Wow, assembly required, for sure. <laughs> and nothing much on the back there. So let's go ahead and get into the slime. I'll have to assemble it off camera, but um, we can at least see what it looks like. I guess I can just trim this off up here. Gross. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of slime. But, um, oh my goodness, <laughs> it is like, um, really thick snot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's really gross. <laughs> I don't mind playing in it if, uh, I know what to expect. So I kind of knew what was coming, but you never really can imagine what something's gonna feel like until you actually get your hands on it, so. <laughs> um, gonna have to excavate some of these pieces out of here. There's even really tiny pieces that but it is pretty slime it's really shiny shimmery uh, it feels very quality like really good quality slime nice all right I'm just gonna set that in there as we continue through really messy <laughs> It won't come off my finger. <laughs> and we have another baggie with an item on the inside. This might take me a minute, so let me just kind of get everything out of here so you all can see it, and then I'll uh, assemble it off camera. <laughs> there is its beautiful head. These are really cool. I think they could have sold without the slime. I don't think the slime was a necessary component to sell this. But maybe to younger kids, but I don't think younger kids would want to uh, take the time to assemble. Might be fun for like a parent and a child to do together though, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> icky icky. <laughs> ah, get off my finger! <laughs> that's all of it. I kind of grabbed one giant goopy puddle of it all at once. There's one of the wings. Really pretty. This is so cool. It feels like really well-made plastic. Like this is going to be a really cool figure that I think will look really smart on a shelf. Assuming I can get all the slime off of it. <laughs> 
some little hooves here at the bottom. I'm not sure what that is, maybe a belly. Like the underside of the creature. Got the leg. Oh, display peg type stand, probably. I'm really scared I'm gonna lose some of these pieces. <laughs> through and do some detail work and get the rest of the slime off some of these pieces because some of it didn't come off all the way. See so real tiny intricate details like that. about got it all, I think. I think that's probably its horn. That's awesome. Oh, there's two of them. Two horns. Okay. I think that that is everything. Somehow I dropped a leg over here. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Uh, one more look at this slime before I put it away. It actually feels really cool. It is very nice. Very nice slime. <laughs> very quality made. Nice and shiny. Pliable. There we have it. Alright, I'm going to pause this and assemble our critter. And I will be right back. Okay, everybody, I am back with my fully assembled Ruby Wing figure. I can't tell you how much I'm in love with this figure. These are absolutely gorgeous. They're fully articulated. It has full range of motion on his legs. Even the tail, you can position however you want. These wings will kind of pivot and rotate however you would like. Its head, completely gorgeous. I love this so much. But I cannot tell you how much the slime takes away from this figure. The slime is an insult to this, honestly. Like, <laughs> call me an old grump, but taking this out of the slime was such a pain in the butt. And having to dig the little bits of slime out of all of the holes and the crevices in this really took it away from me. It, it I get that slime is really popular right now and that's kind of the thing you have to do to stay competitive in the toy market but it's going to prevent me from buying more of these and that's a shame because i am in love with this it is so gorgeous it was so easy and fun to put together it's visually striking it's unlike anything else out there right now i completely love it it's so amazing but this slime <laughs> is such a pain the majority of the time that i had to spend um, trying to assemble this was just trying to excavate the slime out of the tiny parts of this and you can still see some of it and and that's really a shame because this is so gorgeous and I love it so much um, but if you are into the slime uh, this snaps together pretty well I feel like it would uh, probably preserve your slime for quite a while I didn't think it would be quite as airtight as it is but um, there you go. So if you are into the slime, that will protect it. And this is a really cool case. So once you're done with the slime and you throw that part away, it, this is definitely worth keeping. So awesome, awesome figure. My God, I love this so much. And um, it shows on the guide um, how you could kind of mix and match between the different types and kind of build your own, which I think is also really cool. So. Um, Mine is Ruby Wing, 
which is two out of nine in this set. So fairly rare. Not the rarest by far. Um, this one that I wanted the most, Frost White, um, that's a one in nine chance. So I would love to buy more of these, but um, that slime just really, really puts me off. Um, I would be more tempted to buy this second hand from somebody who has this already assembled that would send it without the slime. <laughs> Which is sad to say, but um, if I see it on clearance or something uh, somewhere down the road, I'd be willing to give another shot. But I hope that if they come out with a series two, they will focus more on just how fabulous and unique these figures are because honestly, this is just really great. I feel like these would be great collector's items for adults. Um, more than kids, really, because they're just so cool looking. Maybe I'm just <laughs> into kind of the myth mythical creature type aspect of it, but these are gorgeous. So give it a shot, especially if you're into slime, and uh, let me know who you get. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe and tell your friends.